Landscape, 山水 literally translated means mountain and water. It is one of the most popular subjects in Chinese brush painting. The paintings by Wen Zhengming and Shen Zhou in the Ming Dynasty all include mountain and water. Water could be sea, lake, river, waterfall, or stream. Chinese artists do not necessarily paint the details of the water. They would add a boat or a reflection to magically turn the empty space into water. Chinese painting and calligraphy share the same techniques. For example, a brush stroke for bamboo leaves is same as a calligraphy left falling stroke. The brush stroke for bamboo poles is similar to a calligraphy vertical stroke. Mastery of the brush was essential, but so was a deep understanding of the ink. There was a certain amount of ceremony for rubbing the ink. In one single brush, we are able to create different thickness of slime by adjusting the pressure. The character Eternity Yong includes most of the Chinese strokes. Dot. Horizontal stroke, vertical stroke, hook, slightly upward tick, left falling stroke, short left down stroke, right falling stroke. In Chinese painting, the brush stroke can be wet or dry quick or slow, heavy or light, any combination of all these elements. Chinese painting has been influenced by Taoism philosophy, which indicates everything has its complementary opposite. In Chinese brush painting, black ink and white paper are elements of yin and yang. There is no single vanishing point in Chinese brush painting and no single light source either. Chinese paintings do not simply depict the real world. They are more of a personal interpretation of the artist's mind. Vertical strokes are a typical style of Chinese landscape paintings. Artists rearrange the scenery, often using mist and clouds to merge mountains into one painting, which in reality would be hundreds of miles apart. In China, calligraphy and painting are inseparable. Calligrapher and painter are usually the same person. The calligraphy on this Chinese brush painting could simply be the artist's signature, date and place the work was created, or a poem related to the painting. Subtle narratives can be found in Chinese brush painting. For example, in a painting by Shen Zhou, there is a fishing boat and fishman. People are small figures when included in Chinese landscape paintings, indicating humans were considered secondary to nature. In Wen Zhengming's painting, there is a thatched hut but no show of the guest and the host, suggesting an emptiness of the world. Serving as a crucial part of Chinese painting, seals are the artist's name added for authentication. It could also be a collector seal added hundreds of years after the painting was completed.